and secure by default as well. Um, I think, yeah, as far as the security by default, I think there's a, a myth going around in the Linux community like Linux is secure by default. Not really. <laughs> I mean, you take a system like Arch Linux and you can't find anything less secure. I would take Mac or Windows over an Arch, a, a stock Arch implementation any day of the week. Arch is extremely insecure by default. Most times they don't even have App and Armor installed, so people will miss App Armor. So that means almost anything can run anything. Uh, it, it's not isolated out and saying, hey, you have, you can access just the disk drive. You can access this. So that, that can be very bad. And setting up like a firewall, obviously like a UFW would, would be ideal. Um, but a lot of times that's missed, you know, or you could use firewall D part of systems, system D services. Like I think, uh, most rail based distributions use firewall D these days instead of UFW. But, uh, yeah, you have to secure the Linux distribution down. If you, if you're, if you want security, it's not install Linux, it's install Linux and configure it for security. There, there's there's that second part that everybody misses. So I, I see too many new folks or, or how, how do I not insult a whole bunch of people here? I saw I see too many hobbyists just say Linux is always secure and it's not. It really is not. A lot of times, like take Steam OS, for example, on the Steam Deck. I just, just gave it a whole bunch of high praises. You can't find a less secure distribution in existence. Steam literally leaves it wide open with no root password and everything gets elevated. So if you want to take over a Steam Deck and just have just havoc happen, there you go. And that's a Linux based distribution. So yeah, let's let's stop saying Linux is secure by default. That is just not true. Yeah. Steam OS is read only but you can type one command to make that not true. And since you can self elevate, anybody can run that command. So yeah, I mean, I could install a virus on your steam deck and you wouldn't even know it. I could do whatever I wanted. If I had a physical access to your steam deck or even remote access, let's say you're dumb and install like an SSH service on, on your steam deck because you wanted a cool game, man. <laughs> be pretty easy to make a bot army out of that. So, yeah. But I mean, it's not to, the hate on Linux on that the desktop side of things. A lot of that insecurity, there's a balance when it comes to security that is missed. And no matter what operating system we're talking about, Windows, Linux, Mac, it doesn't matter, right? There's security and then there's convenience. And really, when it comes to any kind of computing, even in your regular day lives, really, there's secure and convenient. What what balance? Are you going to put six points into it over here and four points over here? Or are you going to put six points into security or convenience and then four points into the opposite? I mean, you can't you can't have extremely convenient and extremely secure. It just doesn't it doesn't exist. So it's, it's really that balance of convenience and security and figuring out what's right for you. And that's missed in the computing realm so much, so much. So obviously with the Steam Deck, you want it to be extremely convenient. That's why it's mostly insecure by default. I would prefer them at least put a root password on it and just say Steam OS for the root password. It would give just a... Just a little shred of security, man. <laughs> and once you learn that password, it really wouldn't affect convenience that much. So if I was going to change one thing about the Steam Deck, root password, at least, and then just tell people what it is. I, I feel like that's just needed, but yeah. The biggest threat to an OS is the human element, 100%. I mean, it's always been the issue. Like... On my Windows box, typically I, I rarely run an antivirus. I rarely run much of a firewall on, on most of them because I know I, I don't really have to worry about much of that stuff because I know I'm not going to be browsing the web and downloading like a crack tool or some weird launcher or something that's uh, that, that's going to have something bad on it. 
Ah, so true. <laughs> Security, privacy, and accessibility, you can only pick two. <laughs> Differing levels, for sure.